What's up, family? Welcome back to Solomon's Vineyard. I'm the OG, Mr. Russell Mack, and I'm glad you tapped on my thumbnail. Today, we, it's package day. I got a package from my brother, Fat Boy Fragrances. We'll talk more about him and this package on the other side of the clip, so stick around, and I'll be right back. Let's see what's in this package, y'all. Come on, let's go. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Welcome back. This is Russell Mack, and I hope all is well with you and your family. Um, shout out to my subscribers and those of you who have been around for a long time. Um, to those of you who have uh, just subscribed or you want to subscribe and you're thinking about subscribing, this is a great time to do it. Okay, I would love for you to become a part of the family. Why don't you go and subscribe? Right below that, there's a bell icon. Tap on that bell. Some options will open up. Hit all. So when I upload any video, any frag content from this channel, you'll get it, all right? Directly to your feed. Plus, thumbs up my video. My analytics say that's what I need, all right? So I need as many shares and thumbs ups and comments that I can get. Share the video. All right, you can comment down in the family. This is a pretty Participate. lengthy video, right. but bear with your boy. Today. And also, uh, in the shout out, I want to about. mention Scott Aromatico, uh, you know, uh, uh, my brother and friend. What else, what else Thank you, you all so much. You can say, What's happening? What's up, my G? Whatever. Whatever you want to do. Or if you want to say something uh, that you know I, I may need to know, feel free to do it in the comment section down below. All right? So, Welcome to the channel. I know I'm uploading kind of late today. I had to work today and uh, I'm just kind of getting in and getting settled. Um, I got a package in the mail though from my brother Fat Boy. Fat Boy over at Fat Boy Fragrances. He sent me out a package. I don't know what's all in it. I do know it's a lot of samples though and some of them are samples that I have been wanting to get my nose on. He said, you know what bro, I got you and he kept his word. So if you have not tuned in to Fat Boy's Reviews channel, listen, he's on his way to a thousand subscribers. If he ain't already there, let's help it. If you have not uh, checked out his channel, feel free. Right now, go check out his videos. If you like what you see, which I know you will, he's very energetic, he's positive, and he loves his viewers. Trust me, I'm, I'm a believer. Why? Because I watch his videos too. And you know if I'm watching his video, he's a good dude. So go and subscribe to his channel. Give him some love, man. Give him some feedback in the comment section. And I'm talking about him because not only is he a fragrance previewer, he's my co-laborer, but he's also a brother. He's a friend. We talk all the time. And I appreciate him. So go check him out. He sent me this package. Uh, and we'll talk about this package. Let's see. Let's see y'all. Alright. Here it is. Yeah, go check his channel out. Uh, as well as my boy uh, Marshall's Blend, Marshall Blend Fragrances. Um, my boy Bro. See? Check him out. Alright. These are guys who I, I really am connected to. JP Frags. Check his channel out. And uh, Trey Scent. The Fragrant Life. I hadn't done this in a while. Uh, uh, Manuel's uh, House of Aromas, um, my boy, uh, uh, totally off my, my girl. I'm sorry, uh, uh, man. What is his name? I know totally off topic fragrance previews. Paloma Bernstein, uh, uh, Pink Vine Love, Simply Fragrances. My boy uh, Mike uh, over at uh, what is his channel, man? What's the name of Mike's channel? Uh, oh, fragrance wardrobe. Okay. So check check all of them out. These are some great content creators. They are my friends. Uh, Mass Man Reviews. He's another one who shall you know not go nameless. He's also a part of the uh, Frag Brotherhood and Sisterhood. It ain't just about no men. It's about all of us. We all are talking about great fragrances. 
We all have families, we all have lives, we all have things that we do, and I try to remember everybody. So if I didn't call you, it's not that I don't love you, it's not that you're not in my heart and in my mind, it's just that your name may escape me right now, but guys, you know, you all know. And uh, who else? Uh, Smelly Sweet, I gotta say him. That's another friend of mine in Sweden, Tim. Go check out his channel and sub to his channel. Also, so my I'm girl Mon, because I don't you know, really know her that well guys, yet. But shout out to my, you, sweetheart. My fellow I'm looking previews. forward they to working have with lives. you. They have Thank stuff you. That, that's going on. They, they have disappointments in their lives. They have children. They have uh, miles to feed. They have rent to pay, car notes to pay, insurance. Just like we, just like all of you do. So sometimes I just want to stop and recognize those in the frag community who I love and who I care for, and even those who I may not have mentioned that has bigger channels, the higher-ups, um, Steven from Red Lessons, Ross uh, from TLTG Reviews, uh, all of the frag groups on, on Facebook. I know I'm taking some time to do this, but we need more frag love. We need more love of, uh, to, toward one another. Big Beard Business, you know, um, uh, Yummy 411, Winter McHale's, you know, uh, medicine and look these are people who don't necessarily watch my channel these are people who I never talked to some of them some of them they wouldn't dare mention me on their channel but you know what that ain't how love go love the Bible say love drives away evil it drives away hate and if you want to overcome evil do it with love all right now let me get on to these fragrances so don't forget to go check out fat boy and then come on back over here and subscribe to Solomon's Minion. how about that all right so this is what I'm gonna do. He gave me this velvety plum colored pouch. And I love these, okay? And I love the box. So great presentation, Fat Boy. Thank you so much. Um, what I'm gonna do, since my little helper is here, Talia's here, and I'm always trying to incorporate her in some way in the video. So I'm gonna give her this bag. She's gonna hand me a fragrance with the name, and we'll move on like that. And I'm gonna pick one out of the bag that I'll preview right now. All right, a little quick little preview. You know, I can't give you a full-on preview because I've never smelled it or worn it. So I will talk a little bit about it, though. So let's go. Here you are, Talia. Thank you. And I think there is about eight fragrances in that pouch, all right? So come on. Now, if y'all hear the TV, my girl loves watching crime shows. And she always got it on ID, all right? Or, or National Geographic, and she loved the criminal show. So if you hear somebody hollering or a gunshot, trust me, it ain't, it ain't really happening. Uh, only on television. All right, so let's move on. First fragrance. Parfums Vintage Plethora Intense. So this is Parfums Vintage Plethora Intense. Wow. This is one that I have, I saw him talk about on his channel. I'm not going to spread it yet, but be expecting a preview from... Uh, of this fragrance, all right. In fact, I have nothing from Parfums Vintage, so this is much, this is needed, so that I can smell what they have to offer. All right, let's move on. Azaro, the most wanted. Oh my God, y'all! Azaro, the most wanted. I, I I I almost purchased this the other day, and I skipped over it. Okay, I, I smelled Victory by uh, Paco Rivon. I'm sorry, Victory Invictus. Uh, Papaco Ravon Invictus Victory and uh, it's okay it's an okay fragrance I got a chance to smell why Le Parfum uh, but I ended up getting something else okay and uh, a couple others I smell so this is one though that I'm looking forward to getting into and uh, telling you about it alright next one Parfum's Vintage Verbena Fields okay that's this sound like that lemon verbena. Okay, I can't really smell it that well, but it does smell fresh. And uh, so I think the lemon verbena, now that's the, the, the note I heard that's in Trady Wee by our moth. So hopefully, hopefully it, it'll have somewhat of that smell, but I'll be previewing this one too, all right? Red Brook Parfums. All right, listen, we got three so far. This is number four. Edition. So this is Red Brook, wow. This is Stevens and Carlos's fragrance. I'm glad he went on and put this out. 
um, um, Fat Boy knew I wanted to smell this one, so he sent me a, a, uh, a sample of it. So I will be getting into this one also. Uh, many of you may have already smelled it, all right? But these are a, a lot of the decants I've been waiting on, all right, so that I can check them out. So I'm going to preview these probably individually. I'm, I'm pretty sure I will, all right? Yes, and why Le Parfum? Okay, now you know I told you I smelled this one already, and I love it. I love it, but the one I got, I wanted it first. So, uh, but this is a nice one. There are a lot of previews out there. I hadn't talked about this yet, so um, I did talk about the why, I believe, on my channel. I think. I'm not sure. Look at my videos. You may find it. I don't know. So, But I will talk about this again. Yves Saint Laurent, why Le Parfum, all right? Stronger with you, absolutely. It's another one I've been wanting. Go ahead, fat boy. This dude, he really paid attention, man. He really, because these are the ones I said I wanted. Now, I heard this smell similar to Mason Martin Margiela's By the Fireplace, all right? But when we get into it, I'll make sure I have the By the Fireplace on hand and we can maybe do a comparison, all right? Next one. Duas Caribbean Mojito. Oh, I heard about this too. Y'all, my nose sweating. What does that mean? I'm mean? No, it don't. It's just being I'm hot, all right? <laughs> but I can't wait to get into this, too, all right? This is another one from Dua Fragrances. We definitely going to talk about this, all right? Next one. Salvatore. Hey. Salvatore Ferragamo Intense Leather. Oh, my goodness. This is what I've been waiting on. This is the one, y'all. There's a new release by Salvatore Ferragamo and it's Intense Leather and I've been waiting on this sample. I didn't think he would send it, but he did. Uh, wow, oh my God, thank you so much, fat boy. Man, you know what, y'all? I'm gonna talk about this one, all right? Let's finish up what else he got in here and then we'll go into, we'll talk about this a little bit. Well, I do a first sniff, how about that, all right? That was all. That was it? So <laughs> with about eight all together? Yeah. So he sent me eight, um, De, uh, samples or decants uh, and they're all hot fragrances. Wow. Thank you so much, bro. Wow, I didn't think he would send this many and I didn't think that he would send all of these new releases, alright? So, but the one I have been waiting on, guys, is, well, this won't fit, so what I'll do is I'll put them back into the thing, alright? What I'll do is we'll spray this one just just to see what it smell like now this is from the house of Farangamo and this is one that I have been uh, waiting on but I also there's another one that I love from them that I've been wearing and I love it let me this is the flanker of this hold on y'all hold one second all right just hold it to me for me gotcha. let me grab uh, this fragrance y'all don't go anywhere family I'm coming right back all right, I already got this fragrance out. And this is, so this intense leather, I'm back, is a flanker of this one. And this is F Black, all right? Farangamo Black. And Lord have mercy. I'm gonna put it right here. Just, just a spray, all right? I love this one. This is my kind of scent on a day like today where, it, look at it, and it's a room filler too. Green, earthy, has a fresh component to it, leathery. So this flanker makes sense. Let's see if this is close at all to this Elf Black, all right? Let me set this to the side. Well, I set it right here. Very good, y'all. Wow, fat boy. Man, you blowing my mind, bro. Y'all know what he say. No salad, no beans. We don't need no steak, straight up, no edits. How you say it? This is your God. <laughs> That's my G, fat boy. He right too. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Look the note up to live. Got him. You got him that fast? I can tell y'all right now, this opens up a little totally different from F Black. They both are fresh, but this one here smells like look, got some citrus in it. I think I smell iris too. Wow, yeah, I think I smell some iris, some leather, some sage. 
I know them notes, y'all. Listen, read read the notes right quick to live. Top Mandarin orange. So that a citrus is, y'all. Look at that. Clary sage. Oh wow, clary sage. Come on. And pink pepper. And pink pepper. Okay, I didn't I didn't foresee that, but it does have a spicy quality. And you know what? Now I'm picking up the Everly. It smells similar in the opening as it begins to dry down. All right, go ahead. Middle iris. Look at that, iris. <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that. Red right. apple. Okay, red apple. I didn't smell that now. Okay. And lily of the valley. And lily of the valley. That makes sense. I do pick that up. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Lily of the valley is in Mason Margiela's Lazy Sunday Morning. That's why I know this. I can smell it. I'm picking it up. It's in the heart. So you got iris, red apple, and lily of the valley in the heart. With citrus, with clary sage and pink pepper at the top. Gorgeous, y'all. Go ahead to the base. Leather. Leather. That is the main core. Uh, core. Oak moss. Oak moss. Earthy notes. Uh huh. And musk. And musk. So there is a muskiness in this fragrance. So it, 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 and the leather kind of gives it an animaticness to it. Wow, that iris is so pretty with that apple. My God, man, oak moss, that makes sense. Listen, on a day like today, this would be perfect because it's 60, low 60s today in Baton Rouge. Really, really beautiful. The wind is blowing. In fact, I'm about to walk up to the store. I, I, I just feel like walking. And uh, I'm gonna walk, me and my girl's gonna walk up there just to get us some air and get out the room, uh, get them out the room rather. And I'm gonna spray a little bit of this on my neck. That's what I'm gonna do. But I'm definitely getting this one. Wow, new release, I think I saw it at Nordstrom's. I just didn't pull the trigger on it. I should have gotten it though when I had the chance. They had it, um, I think for $70 for a one out, 1 1.7, uh, 50 mil, and I think it's like right at 100 for the full presentation, 110. So, and that's on Nordstrom's website, okay? That's where the infrared and the, um, uh, Monte Cold Parfum come from. Um, that's where my girl them ordered that from, and they ordered me a couple others from there too. So they do have this one, and I'm definitely going to get it. But from what I can tell, this is a green fragrance, very leathery. What's the classification of it? It's a, it's a leather. It's, a, it's just a leather fragrance, just like um, K. I think, I think Dolce & Gabbana K is a leather fragrance. Uh, there's another one that I talked about. It's a leather fragrance. Um, Vince Camuto. They got a leather fragrance. There's another one too, but great leather. But it, you know, it may surprise you though that it, you can smell the apple and that citrus accord, but it's going to dry up, of course. But that iris and apple and leather is what you mainly get it, from what I can tell right now. And I can definitely tell you this is going to be a, a long lasting performer. Um, I saw a, a preview on it. I try not to watch too many previews on certain fragrances that I won't want to talk about. But this is awesome, bro. I got to have this. I got to get me a bottle of this. I got the, the F Black finally. It's a cheapie, though. But it's this this is a really underrated frag. This is about one of the best in the game. Niche quality. Listen, you can't go wrong with it, bro. Anything. Most of the fragrances from Farron Gummo are good. You guys remember I talked about uh, the latest fragrance by Farron Gamma, okay? I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> he mows on. Yeah, another good one. And I need to get another bottle. Y'all know I sold that bottle? I sold it to a lady at Walgreens. She smelled it, had to have it. Paid me good money for it, too. But Farron Gamma Intense Leather, y'all. Leave me. I'm going to have it real soon, all right? So, that's it, guys. Um, I'll be previewing all of these. Trust me, I'm going to preview them all. I got several from uh, JP's packages left, BroSense packages left. So there's a lot of them. There's a lot of fragrances I have to preview and talk about. But you know what? I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the ride. I'm enjoying this, the journey. So listen, if there's something, if anybody want to send me something to talk about, to preview, feel free. Hit me up in the comment box. Uh, if you had a recommendation, let me know about it. Julio Ayala always shoot me out fragrance uh ideas. Um, King Tide, you know, the uh, musky ooze. He put me on uh, Rihanna, okay? There's one by Dior that my boy Julio Ayala wears that I'm loving, man. It's, uh, I think it's called Fever Delish. 
<clears throat> so I'm working on getting it right now. So, guys, listen, bear with me. All right, stick with me. You see, you see the growth, uh, and God is blessing this channel, y'all. So, if you want to stick around, get your friends, get your family, tell them about me. And you know what? I'm enjoying the slow growth. You don't have to blow up overnight. For what? Uh, uh, the quicker you blow up, the harder you come down, and the quicker you come down. Amen. So I love the, the consistency. I love, you know, taking my time. And I, I just enjoy this journey, y'all. So listen, I love you. Take care of yourself. All right. Keep your boy in, in your prayers, in your thoughts. All right. And I will see you guys soon for another fragrance preview. All right. I'm out of here, y'all. Fat boy, I love you, bro. Thank you again. Uh, I'll be hollering at you real soon. All right? Take care, y'all. Peace. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay.